Okay, so today I want to talk to you briefly about the use of apostrophes. So, apostrophes are very useful little punctuation marks that can be used in two ways. They have two purposes. The first purpose of apostrophes is to indicate that there are missing letters. In other words, to shorten words. The second use of apostrophes is to indicate possession or ownership. For example, if you were to say the teacher's book, to indicate the possession by the teacher of that book. So let's look at the first use of apostrophes first, indicating missing letters. Another word for the type of words that we get when we use an apostrophe to indicate missing letters is a contraction. So all of the words we're going to look at with these examples are contractions. So some examples are words such as they plus have. If we look at the contraction of they plus have, we've got the word they've. Here's our apostrophe here. And the words that we've cut out, or the letters that we've cut out, are the H and the A. So they've, from they plus have. Other examples are, are plus not. If we use the contraction aren't, then the words that have been, or the letter that has been cut out is simply the O here. Another example would be they plus will. The contraction using an apostrophe would be they'll. And here we have cut out the letters W-I. So we've got T-H-E-Y-L-L. -L. You can also use uh, apostrophes to form contractions that look the same but actually show that different letters have been left out. Sounds a bit confusing, but what I mean is if you had the example of we plus would, as in we would love to come to the movies with you, the contraction would be we'd, we'd love to come. And in that case, you've cut out all of these four letters here and just ended up with we'd. But of course, you could also have we plus had. Like, we'd better hurry if we want to come to the movies with you. And that contraction would look the same, weed, but in this case, it would have only cut out these two letters here. These are all contractions where we've used an apostrophe to cut out some letters. One other one, just before we move on, is the expression that we don't use anymore of the clock. And I imagine it used to be that you would say the seventh hour of the clock. Of course, we would say seven o'clock. And that contraction sees us cut out all the way from the o to the clock, seven o'clock. One last thing before we move on to apostrophes being used to indicate possession is what to do when you have a plural. This is sort of a what not to do. Do not use apostrophes to indicate a plural. It is a common mistake made um, by students and adults alike. Uh, for example, the word potatoes. There's the singular. If you've got more than one potato, it's potatoes. It is not potatoes with an apostrophe. That is an incorrect use of an apostrophe. So that may be a bad habit that you have and one that we can break today. Let's move on now to how we use apostrophes to indicate possession.